Hello everybody, it is 50 states time again, and our state today is Illinois. How can we resist not doing the Chicago dog from Illinois? And after talking to a friend of mine that lives there, right near Chicago, I figured out that we're going to need hot dog buns, poppy seeds, pickles, beef hot dogs made from the same company, Vienna, sports peppers, Chicago Neon Relish, Celery Salt, Yellow Mustard, and Tomato. Sounds interesting, huh? Well, you know the drill. Let's get going. So, after looking high and low and trying to order them without, you know, buying like a case or something, I really couldn't find poppy seed hot dog buns. So, I was going to use a method that my friend VG told me about that will make pretty much dang near the closest I can get to them. Now... I think my friend said that it's either sesame seeds or poppy seeds, but we're going to go with poppy just for that extra kick in it. So let's get going making these. I may have forgotten to mention we need chopped onion for our hot dogs too. So there we go. Next fun thing we get to do is make poppy seed buns for now. And the way to do that is brush egg wash. Bring these over a little closer. Onto the parts of the bun you're going to apply the seeds to. Don't soak it, just apply it lightly to it. And when you're done, either dip or sprinkle generously over the parts you applied the egg to. And you were going to want to bake these and keep an eye on them long enough to give the egg time to set and the poppy seeds time to stick to the bun, so probably about five minutes. All right, my friend made sure to um, say that I was going to steam my hot dogs, because you can't roast them, you can't pan fry them for these dogs, you have to... Get your all 100% Vienna beef dogs and steam them. So we're going to put the lid on and let those puppies steam for a little bit. And after about 10 minutes, they are very lovely steamed. I added an extra one in there just in case that one that I accidentally cut into turned out weird, but it seems okay. And after about 10 minutes, they are very lovely steamed. I added an extra one in there just in case that one that I accidentally cut into turned out weird, but it seems okay. Okay, and the last thing to do, honestly, is put it together. So we're going to put a little row of mustard on them. Not a lot. I don't love mustard. I'm going to put a nice little distributed scoop of neon green relish. Going to be adding tomato slices to each one. Some sports peppers, which I'm not sure I'm going to like them, but I'll put them on. Pickle. And a sprinkle of onion. Which honestly, I don't know if I can find the little hot dog underneath anymore. <laughs> These look amazingly loaded and cool. So now the best part's here. We gotta try and one. And last but not least, before I forget, a sprinkle of the celery salt on them. Gonna kind of have to say there's a lot going on with these hot dogs, and surprisingly, everything balances each other out. They're very messy. They're very good. The sports peppers add a nice little, almost like, um, what do you call them, banana pepper kick to it. And then the pickle gives it great flavor. The tomato gives it a nice little flavor of the sweetness of a tomato. Everything just ties together really well. Now, I'm not sure I'd go out of my way to make these all the time, or put this much stuff on them. But I did my best, and they taste really good. So, if you disagree with something I did, or used, you know, let me know. If you decide to make these on your own, hey, let me know that too. So leave a like, leave a comment, and I'm going to finish my hot dogs, and see you next time. Later.
gonna have to say there's a lot going on with these hot dogs and surprisingly everything balances each other out they're very messy they're very good the sports peppers add a nice little almost like um what do you call them banana pepper kick to it and then the pickle gives it great flavor the tomato gives it a nice little flavor of the sweetness of a tomato everything just ties together really well now, I'm not sure I'd go out of my way to make these all the time, or put this much stuff on them. But I did my best, and they taste really good. So, if you disagree with something I did, or used, you know, let me know. If you decide to make these on your own, hey, let me know that too. So leave a like, leave a comment, and I'm going to finish my hot dogs. And see you next time. Later.